looking at. Yeah, with the exception of he has buttons that he can press. Okay, so this will be mounted inside the cab. Oh, and is it the warning that it's going to... There's the warning, yeah. So now he, he's instructed that system to come. Okay. No, that's interesting. So basically, you're just going to be doing it all from right here, and this is going to be mapping out. That is correct. He can see where he's covered, and he can see that line there is the path that the system is going to follow. And that dynamically updates as he moves through the field. Wow. And I know Mike was talking about kind of the boundaries that you're going to be able to basically set that white perimeter to know where not to go then. Is that, that's right. So it, primarily it's looking at where the combine has already gone and determines that that's a safe path. In addition, it's got scanners looking if, if there's any corn that it needs to drive around or we can set obstacles. So if they want to have a location for the semi-trailers on the side of the field, they can set that as an area where it won't drive. What is this thing right here? Oh, so good question. We can walk <laughs> over there. Area, but, uh, there. Now this is something that, uh, if for any reason, we want to stop the system. I talked about the uh, the e-stop that's in the combine. This is another e-stop, identical, and we have several of these. And if we hit this button, the safe stop button, it will stop that system. For so, if for any reason we feel that's operating unsafely, we can hit this emergency button, and it will stop the system. And where's where do you typically put that? Typically, we would have a, uh, a stand by the edge of the field if there's multiple operators, or you might just give it to your semi-trailer operator to have. Okay. It's primarily for the people at the edge of the field. Okay. So does somebody have to kind of man this, or is it just get to it when you can if you need to emerge? No, they would clip it on their belt and then have it there if, if, uh, if for any reason they feel that's rubbing. It depends on how many people you've got. <laughs> yeah, and we can have numerous remotes as well. Oh, you can have more than you can have more than one of those. So you could, you could order like five for one system. You, you, you could. Really wanted to do there's that. an e stop on the combine. In addition, there's also e stops. If you look at the tractor, the grain cart as it goes by, you'll see e stops around that as well. If any of the e stops get get pressed, any of them in the system, it will stop. Just out of curiosity, why is it so large? <laughs> I mean, if, well, yeah, I mean, is it just to, so that it's always able to talk to it or? I'm just thinking, you said clip it on your belt. That might be a little heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not knocking it, I'm just asking. I'm just asking. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>